Well, Prince William has built himself an A-list group of friends mm. and they enjoyed a little barbecue in South Africa. That kicks off our Hot Topics, brought to you by How the Grinch Stole Christmas at Walton Art Center. So the Prince of Wales is currently on a four-day trip to South Africa and he's kind of met with some leaders and local uh, locals and participated in events and his initiatives. And he does work for the environment during Earthshot Week. And he attended the annual Earthshot Prize Awards. But in his downtime, he stopped for a little traditional lunch in Cape Town with Heidi Klum, Winnie Harlow, wow. and Billy Porter. I mean, check out this little star-studded crew over there. So. That you know, it makes it kind of humanizes. You just see them exactly sitting there at a it. picnic table in front of, uh, you know, a creek. Yes, it's like he's a real person, you know, and yes. that's why I absolutely love the story. He's laughing and just carrying on. So, um, yeah, I, I just thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's very cool. I love that story. Mark Wahlberg's Las Vegas restaurant caught fire less than two months after opening. So on Wednesday, shocking videos of. Uh, Fletcher Cantina at Town Square in Las Vegas began making the rounds on X. As you see, a fire was raging in the front patio section of the restaurant. A faulty fire pit was to blame, but thankfully no one was hurt in this blaze. Randy Sharp, CEO of Wahlburgers, said things looked much worse than they actually were and added the whole front of the building has reflective windows, so it made it look pretty spectacular. But not in a good way. The fire department did come quickly. It was out. The fire was out in about 20 minutes. But man, scary times right there. Yeah, I'm really glad nobody was hurt. Me and too. and I think I also read that right afterwards it, the restaurant reopened. Okay. So it wasn't as bad as what uh -huh. people had thought, Gives which a is new, good. Charbroiled gets a whole Char new meaning. Yes. Right You're <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Courtney Cox teased Jennifer Aniston for keeping so many clothes. From Friends. So the fashion on Friends was obviously iconic, iconic when the show aired, and it's still iconic. It's remained iconic. However, Courtney Cox, who played Monica, she didn't really care for her clothes on the show. And the actress said that the cast was allowed to keep anything they wanted for the wardrobe. And she was quick to admit, though, that her co star and close friend Jennifer Aniston certainly appreciated oh. it. And she kept some of her wardrobe, but also she took some of Monica's. She took some of Mon's? Yes, yeah, she took some of Mon's. She said, quote, she took a lot of Monica's dresses. It looks great on her. She's adorable. Wow. I was so surprised to learn that she didn't like the wardrobe yeah. because I watch it and I'm like, I want that. Oh, I'm I want that. surprised to learn that they were allowed to take things. I think you and I can, we've both been in a lot of plays, a lot yes, of productions, yeah. and the, they're always like, no, this has to Give stay Give me your here. costume back. Yes. Yeah, just uh, like that. Not in, Yeah, just like that. <laughs> not in Friends, though, but wow, obviously lucky. it's a little bit different. Right, uh, right. Yeah. Well, Judy Greer sat down with Hoda and Jenna yesterday to talk about the new holiday movie, The Best Christmas Pageant Ever. But the star couldn't resist talking about her sweet friendship with Jennifer Garner. Oh. So the Greer, uh, Judy Greer revealed that the two actors who became friends during the filming of 13 Going on 30 have remained close nearly 20 years later. The secret to their lasting friendship? For us, we just keep at it, Greer said. Text message helps a lot. And she went on to say that she feels so lucky to know Garner because She's like probably the best person in the world. I what a absolutely sweet comment. love that. And yes. you know, I think a few months ago, those two and Mark Ruffalo had a little reunion because of the 20 years 13 after going 13 30. going on 30. Yeah. So it's sweet to see them still that is. friends. And, and Judy Greer's kind of taking over our show. We're going to be uh, kind of reviewing the best yes. Christmas pageant ever yeah, later right. in our Malco Movie Minute. So stick around for that. Well, Elwood Edwards, who voiced the iconic You've Got Mail message for AOL, has passed away. Elwood passed on Tuesday after years of battling an illness. We're not really sure what exactly that was. But he was a staple at WKYC TV studios in Cleveland, working as a graphics whiz and camera operator, among other roles. But it was back in 1989 when he struck gold, earning worldwide fame and a spot in Internet history as the voice of America Online's You've Got Mail message. He was asked to record just four simple lines, welcome, you've got mail, files done, and goodbye. And in exchange, he pocketed a cool $200 for his everlasting voice work. Voice work. Uh, and he was 74 when he passed away. You know, uh, very sad, but so iconic. I mean, I can hear it in I my mind. I can hear mind. it in my mind, and you know I love that movie, You've Got Mail. I love and it, so too. so I watch it, and I can always hear uh, Elwood's voice on that. Yes, absolutely. You've Got Mail. You've Got Mail. Oh. Yeah, man. Okay, well, sad to hear of that passing. Yeah, but absolutely. We, what a legacy. What a legacy. Truly.
Well, check out this heartwarming story. A mom shared eight words of encouragement from a stranger that brought her to tears. Mm. Stephanie Morris embraced herself when she was approached by an elderly gentleman during her morning walk. Morrison, who was pushing a double stroller and wearing a newborn, was waiting for the man to say, you've got your hands full. Instead, the stranger offered some words of encouragement. He told the mom, wow, you're going to have a lot of fun. Aww. Yeah, Morrison shared the emotional video on her social media and said he was so sweet and I could see the memories flash through his eyeballs as he said that to me. Oh, it's just so That's heartwarming. So sweet. I know, and those babies, they grow up. I mean, you know, I think all parents can attest to that. Those kiddos yeah. grow up too fast. That's so, so sweet. Yeah, very sweet.